If happiness is working 40 hours a week so I can have a shitey car on finance and have £30 left over for food, I'm f miserable, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I assume by you clicking on this video, you're unhappy. And I get it. Life's shit and then you die. Right? No. Life's die and then you shit. But seriously bro, if you start telling yourself that your life is shit and you hate yourself, you're gonna believe it. Like even if the happiest man in the world started looking in the mirror and said, I hate myself, it would become true. He would hate himself and he would no longer be the happiest man in the world. I mean, your thoughts have so much power behind them. So why not start using them for good? This is why you need to change your mindset. You need to become an optimist. So you seem like a smart guy. You've probably heard of the terms of optimism and pessimism before. If you're a pessimist, you see the glass half empty. If you're an optimist, you see the glass half full. And sadly, my friend, you're probably a pessimist, but you won't admit it. You probably call yourself a realist and will call me delusional for discussing how beautiful trees are. To put it simply, the pessimist does not see the sunset outside, he only sees the dirt on the window. Yet there must be some truth in pessimism. I mean, everything has a small fraction of truth in it, right? Like, for example, if your mum steps on a scale and it mysteriously calls my phone number, <laughs> she has every right to say, there's no hope for me to lose weight. And she's 100% correct. By saying that simple statement, she's made it so. But let's say your mum did make a change and she lost some weight and at the same time hell froze over. She would now have concrete evidence of her ability to lose weight and therefore would no longer need to say, there's no hope for me to lose weight. If you say you can, then you will. If you say you cannot, then you will not. It's bro science 101, baby. <laughs> if believing that I can grow as a person and make something of myself, really make it in this world is insane, then fine, I'm insane. I'm completely weird, but Normality is weird. Not being mindful is weird. Not exercising is weird. Working a 9 to 5 and earning $10 an hour is weird. We're not normal, bro. So if you're not a weirdo, take this actionable step. Stand up, go to your window, and find something you can genuinely appreciate. Oh, but I live in a shithole. Everyone lives in a shithole, right? You can appreciate the sun, you can appreciate the sky, you can appreciate the stars, appreciate the moon, whatever. You know what, I'll do it right now. Found something. You better have done it too, bro. It's winter time, right? It's just snowed beautifully. Alright, earlier it was snowing. I took a wonderful video of it that you'll probably see at the end of this video. Right? I can appreciate how the snow has fallen beautifully on the road. How it looks so picturesque like a winter wonderland. Alright? Let me know in the comments what you found and what you can appreciate. If you didn't do that, you're a little bitch. If you stayed in your greasy gaming chair and didn't do the actionable step, then pause the video, leave a dislike, and comment, live shit and then you die. This channel is not for you. But if you did do the actionable step, you are a remarkable individual who's going to go on to do wonderful things. Good night, bro. God bless.